Guys, welcome back to the channel everyone. This is your usual Paris and it is time for more of Mafia 3 guys. This this game is amazing. I gave it a try because I had not played that. So this quarantine is giving me some real gaming joy guys and it's going so far so great. So we will continue with the story. We in the last episode as you guys know that we are now taking down the whole empire that is being controlled by by Sal Marcano and he has given the some specific areas to different mafias or, or or his associates and we are we are targeting their business last episode the prostitution racket was taken down by us and now we have to really launch an attack on the Dixie mafia who are running the hollows that place in the hell hole paint you to see what those redneck fucks are doing doesn't it soon as I get my hands on Jackson that all comes to an end Merle's got pimps scattered around the hollow. He's leaning on them to make up for what he's lost. Kill them, and he'll show up at the club. All right. When you're dealt with them, come back. I'll be able to confirm that Merle's over at the club. All right, so the Dixie Mafia is being headed by this Merle Jackson. And our, our final aim is to take him down, but to... But to, uh, you know, make him come out of his hideout, we have to take down his pimps. I think his, his business has to be impacted in a big way. That has to be impacted. Then only he will do something out of the ordinary. And then we will get the opportunity whenever he's at the club to kill the bastard. We have reached the location of his first pimp, so we have to take these hideouts that Merle Jackson's pimps have. We have to target them. There will be enemies all scattered all around this place, so we have to be careful with this. Mm, let me see how we can approach this now. Enemy right in front of us, and what should I do? I think we. What guns do we have? I think let's go with the simple pistol only and here we go. Okay, he's running, he's running to inform guys. So he's a witness and he's calling the police but he's not able to. Come on, let's go now. Okay, so, so whenever the public sees someone or some illegal activity on the streets, they're going to call the police. But let's not focus upon that and let's focus upon killing the pimp. A good angle that we have okay so i think he's the one we have to kill okay so he's the pimp and come on come on let's kill him and and just run away yes he's gone he's gone and let's run from this place come on guys and the police is here as well oh no 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 honey come on we have to run we have to run now okay i think we have to get away from this chase now to and then only we can return to the voice so you have thoroughly wreckled Mali's prostitution racket and now you have to, all you have to do is to return to the voice but we have to get rid of this police okay watch this now okay no I think my tire is gone oh no man 
I'm telling you, the just to get away from police in this game is much more difficult than GTA 5 already. Oh, oh, oh the roads are closed. Oh, there's so much water. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go back. We have to get out of this, Paras. We have to get get out of this. But the policemen are stuck. <laughs> oh, all right. That was not the plan, obviously. But that really worked out well. That really worked out well, guys. So, so the so the chase has been called off now, and we we have dodged the police so cleverly. Not by intention, but by <laughs> by by good luck, I think. So the police is off our back and now we have to go and return to the voice have to change the car as well let's get out of this and we have found a beautiful jeep yes i want this come on dude get out of it okay this suits this suits us a lot this is a good vehicle guys this is this is really suiting us nicely i think that's really going with our image right now. So okay, let's focus on the game, Paris, not on these materialistic things that you are thinking about. And let's return to the voice. Okay, back at the voice and let's see what else he has for us to so that we can really entice Merle Jackson to come out. Lincoln, you were sight for so high. Continuing will cause any remaining record objective to be removed. Okay. So we still have objectives? What are those? Mm, let's see the list. Done done done. Okay, we haven't killed both the pimps of Merle Jackson, we have just killed one. Mm. So we have to get this done as well, I guess. Rooster de Jornias, I don't know what how to pronounce that. So we have to kill that guy as well. Come on guys, let's go. I think I just found that we have different objectives that we have to finish. So we have to finish this. And then only we can really impact it. Oh, 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 sorry, ma'am. Sorry. Really sorry, guys. Come, 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 come. Go, go, go. Oh. Okay, it was not that far away as well, so we have to kill Merle's pimp. It's your Uncle Lou. What are you doing this weekend? Okay, where should I park this car, guys? I, I, I want this car now. Okay, let's go. Okay, I can already see that the man who we have to kill is just behind this. This is a police-free zone. You are in a police-free zone where civilians won't report to the police okay that is cool so sentries are enemies who call for more reinforcements i think that is what the sentries are so we have to be careful and we have to kill them asap okay let's go guys yeah let's take the pistol only our objective is to kill the pimp that's it. Let's kill him. Here he is. Here he is. No, no, no. But it's on the other side, guys. Uh, 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 oh. Yes. No. I think I'm gone. No, he's gone. Oh, <laughs> right in his head. Run away, Paris, now. Run away. Run away, guys. Let's run away. Yeah, here's the car. Okay, they're coming behind us. I'm not taking a U-turn. 
I'm not taking a U-turn. Let's take a left from this side. It's definitely going to be another way around. Yes, we are through. This is good. I think, and I'm going to stick to this only, that I'm going to kill the pimp and just run away from that. I don't want any other any other confrontation with any other guy because my objective is to kill the pimp. That's what I'm doing. And this is what I want right now. So let's return to the voice again. I don't know why he was telling to, telling me to return to the voice in the first place only because we killed the first pimp and the objective was straight away return to the voice. So I returned and there were still objectives, sorry, sub objectives that were still remaining. So we had to do that. So now, Mr. What you have to say? Merle's hold up over at Perlis. What I hear, he's pissed as all hell. <laughs> Wish I could see that asshole's face right about now. Just so we're on the same page. Once I'm in there, I'm killing any motherfucker who gets in my way. Ain't no one shedding tears for those pricks. You do what you think's best. I'll be seeing you, Laveau. Okay, so Merle Jackson is at the Perlas. So where we freed those women. In the last episode so he's hiding out there and he is pissed off as hell so he's out guys and we have an opportunity to kill that bastard so i'm not going to take the cheat because i just found in the last pimp that we killed that this that car is slow guys that car is slow so i'm taking mr voice's car now <laughs> that's the way to do something i think i'm killing so many big guns i think i actually i at least deserve a car so i'm taking his car and let's kill burley jackson guys Alright, so we have reached our location, but before that, I think, let's call the supplies, I think, because this is going to be a big battle because Merle Jackson is the main man and we have to take him down, so that will not be an easy thing and there will be lots more enemy as compared to the pimps that they had, I think. The pimps had so many, so, such a less amount of, uh, you know, security that they had, but now Merle Jackson being the main man will be having a lot of enemies with him to kill us so we have to kill a lot of enemies and so that for that we need a gun now okay i don't think we have the budget to really buy these guns this is done you know how to find me okay it's time guys it's time i've just refilled my ammo and it's time to go Okay, it's time guys, it's time for action. We are back at the Perlas and there will be lots more enemies now guys, so we have to be careful with our approach as well. Come on, let's go. Oh my word, I was trying to threw a molotov at us but he was unsuccessful and burnt two civilians guys okay no 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 gone <laughs> Okay, there's one man on the balcony there. Should can we take a shot at, at him? Got 
change mags. Whooping black ass. He not only killed the girls, he killed Doc, too. Yeah, he was deader than shit. Gets off. No. No. Oh. Oh. Okay, guys, so he's not far away. Molly Jackson is not far away and we have to take him down. So killing racket bosses to break up the prostitution racket. I think it's so important to kill him. And he's not and he, there he is. There he is. Molly Jackson and oh 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 oh, oh. reloaded at the right wrong time. And is he gone? I'm sure he won't be killed. I think we just have to held him. Yeah, now he'll be gone. Yes, we can approach him now. Yeah, he will, he will not be killed. Okay, there will be a cutscene for this. And... Well, what you gonna do, nigger? This. Yeah, take that, man. So, Molly Jackson is gone, guys. And the prostitution racket is secured. So, now this is the income that we'll be getting from Perla's nightclub. And we have to assign it to Cassandra. So she'll be running this Perla's nightclub. And whatever cut we have, she'll be giving it to us. So this is great. The prostitution racket is under our control now. So obviously this is not going to be a prostitution racket. 
anymore. Oh, this will be a simple Perla's nightclub. But braid once again, guys. The locations, the setting of the missions is perfect. In uh, 1966, the FBI recruited me out of college. Uh, Chicago was my first assignment, but I was transferred down south in 68. I stayed there until 86, uh, when I was promoted to uh, assistant director of the criminal enterprise branch. I stayed with the Bureau until my retirement in 1999. There are so many stories about Cassandra. Um, as a girl, she was kidnapped, killed, and brought back to life by a voodoo priest. She watched swamp rats rape and murder her sister. She shot her own father and dumped his body in the swamps. It's impossible to know what's true. So let's now, the other objective for us is that we have to wait for Donovan. So it is mysterious whether who should be trusting, who should be, be trusting and who should be not but this game is wonderful guys absolutely wonderful it's going great the storyline so far is great and sometimes it, it it really happens that it's upon someone's taste so far for me mafia 3 has been good and i'm glad that i gave it an opportunity that's it i guess let's meet donovan now Surprised to see you out here. <laughs> Decided to get some fresh air. Yeah. That heroin the Dixie Mafia's been selling? It's run out of there by a man named Charlie Kincaid. Meaning all the other dealers around here kick up to him. Charlie stays away if he can help it, so you're gonna have to put the squeeze on him. I flagged a couple of his guys. You get them to talk, they'll tell you how to get to him. Now, from what I hear, Charlie's only in this for the money. He's not a true believer like those other Dixie Mafia assholes. So maybe if I talk sweet to him, he'll decide to bail on Doucette and come work for me. Assuming I can draw him out. I got something I can help you with that. That's what I wanted to show you. New Bordeaux's on a standard communication grid. So getting a system of wiretaps up and running should be fairly easy. Just install this little beauty on a junction box, and I'll be able to construct an intelligence map of the nearby area. How many more of these you got? Just those. The parts are on an agency watch list. But if you manage to dig up more of them, we could wiretap the entire city. All right. God damn it! People think living under these commie motherfuckers is so great they should move their asses over to Moscow. When you find more of these, you bring them to me. You are way too sensitive about that shit, man. Oh, fuck those motherfuckers. Fucking traitors. I'll see you when it's time to move against Charlie. On <laughs> So wiretapping rackets will help us find the enemies as well as the associates that they have more often and as well as more frequently. I think we will not miss enemy enemies, but for that we have to collect these little adapters across the, the, the city and we, all we have to do is to collect them and then the rest of the job will be done by Donovan. So 
So once you have wiretapped an area, you will get much more information around that area than you usually get. So it's something of a sub-objective that we, we can be playing. And I think I'm going to go with it as, as well, I think, as the story progresses, because I want to really play and, and finish every objective on this map right now. So that is why I'm going to do it. Interrogate Charlie's pushers, I think. Uh, nothing I'm going to do right now. I think I'm I'm done with it today. I think this is it from today's episode. We have killed we have killed Merle Jackson. So, so the prostitution record is secured, and I think we can finish the episode on this note. So thank you so much, guys, for way. watching this video, and thank you so much if you have subscribed to the channel. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss an episode. Thank you so much. This is your usual para signing off. Take care and keep gaming guys and don't forget to hit the like button on the video. Bye bye.